Good morning, internet people. Welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube. If this is your first time visiting, hello, welcome. My name is Sierra. I'm an American living in England. Every week I make a new video about my family's life here or whatever it is we happen to be doing on the weekly. In today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing another one of my famous Lush unboxings, which I know there's a whole bunch of you guys who are here specifically for my Lush content. I took a little break in February from the subscription box, but I am back for March and I think I'll be doing the April box as well. I think the theme for this month is supposed to be like fresh florals because there's a flower on the front. Kind of Mother's day -y since Mother's Day is actually in March here in the UK. So we're going to open up this box and we're going to see what is inside. I can just smell it already. It smells so good. It smells faintly of like jungle which is like um was a conditioner bar and I think a shower jelly back in the day but I don't know. Let's see what's in this box because I'm very excited. So um as per usual we open up the box. And it has my little card that tells me all about the products in the back. It's really pretty this time. I really like that. And it has a little product description guide and, of course, the products inside. Yeah, it definitely smells like jungle now that it's completely open. I'm very excited about that. So let's see what's inside here. So as per usual, there's a lot of packing peanuts. So because you do this every single time. So much fun. So first product out of the box is a black pot item and it is the Mamma Mia shower scrub. I think the Mamma Mia shower scrub came out for Mother's Day, oh gosh, probably three or four years ago. And it's a really lovely like sweet florally scent. I'm going to open it up and show you guys the beautiful pink color. And it smells absolutely incredible. Look at that. That's one of the prettiest products I feel like Lush has ever made. And let's give it a little smell. Oh, this smells so good. I like to describe this as what bubblegum should smell like versus what bubblegum actually smells like. Do you know what I mean? I really don't like bubblegum. So the official ingredient list in this guy are, um, of course it has all the exfoliators, which I think is sea salt and pink salt, but it also has pink grapefruit puree, which is probably why I love this. I love grapefruit. It just smells so, so, so good. Pink grapefruit peel bergamot oil, rosewood oil, and vanilla absolute. So it is very nice. It's kind of like a very sweet one, but oh, I love this. The year that they made it, I think I bought like two of those huge pots and they lasted me a little less than a year. So I was sad when it ran out. So I'm excited to have this. Moving on to the next product we have. This is super pretty. I don't know what it is, but it is a green log of sorts. And I think it's a bubble bar. Let's check the little um, list here and see what it's actually called. It is the flower tub bubble bar which is this the one that smells like jungle and if it's not it's dangerously close to jungle scented so let's read the official ingredients flower tub bubble bar is scented with cypress oil orange flower absolute syntax resinoid olibanum resinoid which is frankincense violet leaf and on the outside it has blue lip scar petals marigold petals and rose petals so i don't know that it's actually jungle it might be actually a little bit closer to Forbidden Forest, or I think it was Forbidden Forest. It was like that really earthy, like foresty bath bomb, but ooh, this smells really nice though either way. I'm super happy with this. So is it time for a bath yet? Would it be weird if I left the room and took a bath right now? But, all right, moving on to the next item is, it looks like a roll of fun, and it is the Whole Lot of Roses Fun. Awesome. If you guys don't know what fun is, I'm surprised. Um, fun is kind of like a... Play-Doh, but it's a soap. It's really fun. I like to use it to shave my legs, but Little Man likes to play with it and make little characters in the bath and then like play with them. He gives them his little bath or whatever, but it's really, really fun product, hence why it's called Fun. Um, I've never used the whole lot of roses before, so let's see what's inside. I'm guessing it's going to be rose scented. Kind of smells rose jammy from the outside. So the official ingredients though are rose absolute, geranium oil, rose oil and Sicilian lemon oil. So not exactly um, rose jam, but pretty much the same to me as rose jam because it has the rose and the lemon. So, ooh, that smells so, so good. This box so far, 11 out of 10. Next item out of the box is, well, mine's a little bit discolored, but it appears to be a soap. I've never used it before, so I don't actually know what it is, but it is the Ring of Roses Buttercream. Buttercreams, I've never used one of them from Lush before, but they're kind of like really rich soaps that are supposed to be hyper moisturizing which is awesome so let's read the official ingredients of ring of roses it is scented with honeysuckle marigold petals blue lapsker petals i don't see them on here cornflower infusion calendula oil evening primrose oil sicilian lemon oil 
Brazilian Orange Oil, Rose Absolute, and more rose petals. So, mmm. Interesting. Okay, and moving on to the final product in the box. It is the the Electro Shower Gel, which is a very pretty lime neon green color. Maybe kind of a muted neon green. I don't know, but that doesn't matter. Let's open it up and give it a smell. Mmm, I like that. It kind of smells to me like very, very frightening with like a twist or something. So let's check out the official ingredients. It is scented with fennel oil, grapefruit oil, that's why I like it, jasmine oil, rose absolute, tincture of besanoid, organic jojoba oil, and that's it. So, very nice. I don't even know what I'm smelling in here that smells so nice. I think it's probably the grapefruit because I really, really, really love grapefruit as you guys already are aware of, so pretty good. Okay. So with that, I guess that means it's the end of our little unboxing for today, which is really sad. So in the comment section, go down in there and let me know your favorite product that was in the box. Or if you didn't like the products, tell me which products from the boat that you think should have been in the box. Um, like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.